Hi, it's Darnell with Wave of Recipes. Today, I'm going to rotisserie a ribeye steak in the New Wave Brio 14Q digital air fryer oven. We're gonna see how this does rotisserieing a ribeye right now. All right, so here I have a one and a half pound ribeye steak. And I've got that rotisserie meat basket for the New Wave Brio 14Q. I'm going to get that open and I'm going to plop the steak on top of it. I'm not going to close it up just yet though. And I've got some Growmates uh, Montreal steak seasoning. I'm going to use that and basically season this steak up. Nothing in this video, uh, nobody paid or gave me anything being used in this video at all. And I have no shares or steaks in any, <laughs> no pun intended, no steak in any of the companies involved in the products used in really any of these videos. So, just finishing up this, uh, finishing up seasoning the steak here, not putting any oil on. Don't know if any of you saw my other cook of ribeye steak and the results if you try using oil when things are up too high, but that can be a bit smoky for real. So, just got it really seasoned up really well. I'm just pressing to make sure that my seasoning's in there real good. Now, basically, you just take this and you slide it in and basically trap your meat in it. Like that, and then press down on this one. And make sure that they're locked in nice and snug. You basically got your meat trapped. And uh, turn on the New Wave Brio 14Q. Actually, I'm going to preheat it to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's set the cooking time up to 15 minutes where it is. I hit preheat and start. After it preheats, then I'll put the steak in. All right, it just finished that preheat. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up and get my steak in there on the rotisserie so just gotta get it in there just right all right got the right balance and close up and hit the rotisserie button and now it's moving and rotating just to give you a look inside here as it rotates on the rotisserie I do apologize for the air fryer being so loud, but uh, there you go. You got a rotisserie steak going on. We'll check it out in a little bit when it's done. All right, we're in the final seconds of this rotisserie cook at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I got my thermal pin ready. I'm going to get in there. Anything over 150, I'm willing to accept as far as meat temperature. I'll take anything over 150. So let's see what we've got. I'm trying to find a good spot. Get in there. It's just at 75, 76. So 15 minutes on the rotisserie seems to be a lot, yeah, a lot slower cook than 15 minutes if they were just setting on a rack. So turn it back on up to 400 again. And let's give them another, let's say, 10 minutes. We'll give them 10 minutes. Get their rotisserie button and start. Bring it back in 10. All right, we got 10 seconds left. It'll be 25 minutes total at this point. Got my gloves on because I'm ready to have it be done this time. All right. We got some smoke billowing out there. We got some smoke billowing out. Inside, man, we're at 130, we're at 128 inside? We are still not done. I'm just poking different spots. We're like 130. That's 10 more minutes. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. So we're still not done. So we can turn it off, turn it back on, roll back up to 400 degrees. 
maybe five more minutes would give it 30 minutes total. That would be, uh, let's give it five more minutes and just see what happens. Maybe in this last five it'll really kick up in temperature. So start. So we'll see if 30 minutes total is enough. It is a pound and a half of meat, so we'll see. All right, we're coming into the final seconds now, what will be 30 minutes total cooking time. There's been no smoke billowing, billowing out. It just came out when I opened the door. I know for you who like medium rare, I just ruined the steak for you, but for you, do 25 minutes and stop on the rotisserie. For me, we go a little longer, so let's see what's going on in there now. Some smoke billows out. So, stick our thermal pan in. And we're reading in the 150s. Yeah, I got like 152. Deeper inside, it's in the upper 140s, but I'm willing to stop with that. I'm willing to, to go with that. So it's between the upper 140s to 150 range. I'm, I'm able to accept that. Trying to get this thing out of the trap. This rotisserie holder. All right, there's our finished steak. All right, so let's give you a closer look. I've been waiting so long for this steak. I'm not going to do the traditional waiting for absorbing of juices. As one commenter said that really cracked me up, these juices can absorb in my mouth. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and cut right into this and see what it looks like inside. Oh yeah, I like that looks pretty nice. Nice pink inside there. Oh, look at that. That's good. Let's get the camera moved and taste test. Before we taste test, we have to slice a piece off for taste testing. I'm gonna slice this off. I'm just gonna slice on this right here. This will be our taste test piece here. So now I'll get the camera moved and taste test. All right, look at that steak there. Let's do a taste. The juice is definitely, definitely absorbed in my mouth real good. Real juicy, real tender, great stuff. So longer than if you just put it on a rack. I mean, if you just put it on a rack, about 15 minutes, you're done. But with the rotisserie, it seems to take longer, but it turned out real good, real tender and juicy. So the choice is yours. You can let me know in a comment. You can find this recipe and others at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can always come to this YouTube channel by going to waveovenrecipes.com on Twitter and Instagram at Wave Oven Recipes. You can find referral links for this cooker and others in the video description. Pay the same price and help this channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend. Also, like I mentioned, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and good eating.